how's it going everybody Hasib here and welcome to another video in this video we are gonna see how to apply CSS on high-level calendars now this is the calendar we're gonna work with today this comes from here I'm using a grouped calendar so whatever I'm gonna write in CSS today is gonna be applicable to grouped calendars I'm not sure if that applies to the unassigned calendars but feel free to try it out now I have copied the code from here for this calendar I mean this code into one of my web pages and uh, you can also use it directly so the CSS will be applicable to the independent go high level widgets as well now let me close this let me open the calendar and go to confirmations if we come down here where it says custom code as it says it does not support CSS but the twist is it does not support CSS directly because we can write CSS inside HTML blocks and this area supports HTML blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to write style like this. Inside this block, we are going to write our CSS. So technically, we are writing CSS inside HTML, which is supported by this area. Now. This is how we are going to write the CSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put block by block and I'm going to explain it to you so you can understand and apply your own colors and fonts and etc. while you're applying this code to your own calendar. Now if we come down here, we want to change the colors, fonts. So let's change the font first. We want pop-ins as a font to this calendar widget. I'm gonna go and uh, write this simple piece of code here star second braces font family pop-ins semicolon second braces close let's test it out so we can see if the CSS is working now if we refresh this as you can see the fonts have been changed that means our code is working now let's start writing the code down Let's go back to confirmation and come down here, expand this as much as we can because it's going to be a long code. Now, we are going to have to write everything inside this style block. So I will expand this further down. Let's go back to the calendar. I want to change this blue color and uh, this will be like the active dates will be in yellow and the selected date will be in black so what we're gonna do is for the active dates we are gonna come over here we're gonna write this code so this says the selectable dates will have a background of yellow and this yellow is my website's yellow color and the text color will be triple zero which is black now for hover what we're gonna do is if we hover on this it should be black and the active ones like the selected ones should be also black just like the hovers so let's do the hover one first this is for hover at as it says colon hover over here now it will be of a black background and white color and you can see i'm using important to prioritize this css over any of the backend css from the server the active ones are done I mean the active date ones are done and if you hover it it will be also uh, black and this active uh, dates will be yellow and uh, for the selected date it should be black so again this one should be for the selectable dates this one should be when you hover on it and this one should be the active ones like the selected ones so if we complete this and refresh we are gonna see that uh, the colors have been changed so this is the active one if we hover it shows black on uh, a white text color and the other selectable dates are showing yellow so which is fine by the way uh, now the second thing we are going to be able to do in colors is we want to change this bluish color from here and replace it with uh, something 
more exciting so I, i'm using black yellow and white on my website so i want black here and when you hover it will be black on a white text so let's go back to our custom code area and put this simple line of code so what this is doing is this is basically replacing this blue text color to black nothing else so if you hover on it this should be a black background and the text should be converted to white now how we're going to do this is let's copy this code over here so we are saying when you hover on these lots it's gonna basically change the border color to black because this is now a bluish border color as you can see when I hover and you change the background to black as I said earlier and change the color of the text to white and that's basically it for the active ones for the active uh, slot I mean when you select this now it shows blue and instead of blue I want yellow for this one we should write this code down so as it says dot activated so when you select this lot it should be taking a background color of yellow and the color of the text should be black let's test this out proceed as you can see if I hover it's black on white and if I select it's yellow that's fine now let's talk about this button over here so unless you select it it is kind of faded as you can see so what I want is I want it to have this faded feel but when I select it it will be of a yellow color so for that we are gonna do some more CSS let's go back to this calendar and edit it expand it as much as we can again and over here at the bottom we are gonna write widgets action button background color should be yellow and the text color of this button should be black and that's it if we continue and save and refresh this page as you can see this is kind of a yellow faded now if we select a slot it's gonna turn into yellow and if we continue this is the submit button for this form which has also turned yellow because we used all the button colors to be yellow in CSS and uh, basically this was it this was what I wanted to show you in this video and uh, let me show you the code for this so there's the piece of code I used to style this high level calendar I'll share the link to this code in this video's description so you could use it for your own calendar hope this video helped you understand how to apply css on go high level calendars i'm gonna do more videos like this so make sure you subscribe and stay in touch and see you next time cheers